This is Zahara. She's one of our newest ish rescues. She came with three of her sisters and a litter of eight total. Um, I took three or four of her sisters and then another two families uh, split the rest of the litter up and they found homes and she kind of picked us. She didn't really like any of the potential families. Zahara, good girl. Um, don't mind all the trash. We're in the middle of cleaning all this stuff up and moving stuff around. But she's a husky mix. We think either lab German Shepherd. Her mom was really big, around 80 pounds. So we're thinking German Shepherd. Um, crazy prey drive, horrible prey drive as this breed usually has. Um, so we're very careful with that since we've already unfortunately had an incident. So she's a great dog. She's around, oh gosh, eight months old now. She was born earlier this year, full grown. Um, shouldn't say full grown, but it's about as big as she's gonna get. She may get a little bigger. Good girl. Now this for her is huge. Good girl. She's a timid girl. She came to us timid. And I've been struggling with her listening. So for her, I know all your friends are not out. I'm working with her alone. Normally I have her and Luna and my other dogs out. But I wanted to work with her, get a little video. And it's hot, huh? You need to go swim in the pool. She loves the water. So let's see if she'll... Are. Girl. She's actually, I swear, a reincarnation of oh, here. Um, my cat that unfortunately passed away earlier this year. She has almost identical markings to to her and acts very similar. Just and my cat was black as well. Come on. Good girl. Sit. Good girl. That's the quickest sit she's given me. That's all she knows. She knows sit and she's learning to stay. So we're starting with her very, very basic. I mean, she's been a bit of a slow learner, but I mean, this is the fourth time I've worked with sit and stay and she's caught on way quicker than any of my other dogs. I mean, you saw Luna in the last video. Good girl. Who was ready to go in half a second. This dog, I mean, she's learning so quick. Good girl, Zahara. She loves treats. I don't have treats. This is where I would treat the heck out of her. If I had treats, good girl. And I let her see how long she's comfortable staying on her own. Good girl. Let her go. Let her go explore. Um, I let them the first time see what they do. Um, because if they're naturally going to be comfortable with laying down, giving me a couple seconds then I can build off that if she's gonna be kind of like Luna oh I'm gonna sit lay down get up popcorn up and down go do this do that then I'll be a bit more consistent but you can see she's right now a complete opposite of Luna normally she's like Luna she's not crazy jumping but she's she likes to run and chase you know typical pesky shepherd lab um, behavior but she's a great dog Zahara come good girl sit good girl you lay down good lay down lay down good girl that's a good girl so I don't mind if she got up that's really good girl this girl that's really the first time she's honestly listened to a lay down Normally, I've told her to sit. She's also found something. Uh, we have turtles, too. They like the turtle poop, unfortunately. Um, that's the first time I've asked her for a lay down. I repeat myself sometimes. That's a bad habit that I've gotten into with my dogs. Um, but sometimes I give them a second chance to kind of process. Like with her, I sometimes have to repeat myself. But eight out of ten times, that second time, she listens. So, she's coming a long way. And honestly, the biggest thing that's helped with her specifically is my husband helping with her normally when I have a dog it's me I'm responsible I ask you know my family to help when need be but he's definitely helped 
be consistent when he especially when he's out with her um and that's been the biggest thing it's so important to have your family members be on the same page um that way not only do you get results quicker it's consistent your dog knows what's what's happening and you have less behavioral issues so we'll see if we can call her off this scent zahara come good girl lay down Lay down. Good girl. I wasn't even recording. See, I was focusing more on her, but I had to point my finger. Good girl, let's go. Yes, let's go. Good girl. I had to point my finger down, and once I pointed my finger, then she listened. And a lot of dogs will do that. They will go off either voice commands or um, physical touch or, like, what I did. Just a snap of the finger or pointing to the ground. Just anything to come on, good girl. Show them that hey, this is what I'm asking you to do if the verbal cue isn't working. So that's Zahara. That's her little training video for the day. That's about all I do with her. I just try and come on, get her to listen a couple times and build off that. And honestly, that's been the best for her. Um, I don't overload her too much with too much things. And she responds a lot better. So we'll keep updated on her training and see where she goes. Come on. Good girl. As I'm recording other things in her.